Hi, I'm Maggie Weldon, owner of Maggie's Crochet. I'm very proud to say that Maggie'sCrochet.com is the largest all crochet site online with thousands of crochet patterns and hundreds of them are free. I've been crocheting for over 40 years and I've been designing for over 30. So I'm hoping that through these videos I can help you to master the art of crochet. So pick up your hook and your yarn and let's get started. Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to sew these two squares together. And when I sew squares together, I use a large yarn needle, preferably with a sharp tip. And I leave a long, very long end. I knew that I was going to be sewing this square to this one, so I left a very long end. I would say this is probably about 18 inches long almost. And I, when I do them, there's on these squares there's two chains in each corner. I sew both chains together into the corner. So I would be it's going to look like this when they're both together because when you only do one, I think it leaves like a a curve in there like a droop and a lot of times it just doesn't look look as good as when you take and you join those two together. I just think it's a better finish. And I match stitch for stitch going all the way down. So I'm going to match this stitch to that one and this one to that one. And the exact stitches all the way down should be uh, matched up together. And I only take the back loops. You see on each piece here there's two loops. And I'm only going to be picking up the back loops of each stitch and sewing them together. So let's get started. To put my yarn on the needle, I open this up, I fold it over the side of the needle. You see I'm black, you can probably see it better. I put it over the side and I pinch this and then I pull this out. And then I open up the fold to expose the folded end in there and I push the eye of the needle over the folded part. And then I see the folded part sticking out there and then I pull that out and that's how I thread the yarn on the needle. Now, I need to get to the to the where I'm going to I need to get to my starting place here on my um, my loops. So I will well I can start right here. I'm going to match up. Here's the right side, here's the wrong side. And I'm going to match up this, the back loop, I only want the back loop here, and there's my two chains for my corner, and I'm going to match it to this one over here. And I'm going to go right in there, and I'm going to go over that a couple of times. When you get to your chain stitch, your um, like chain that counts as a as one of your stitches, you just have to count that as, as a stitch and work into one of the loops that's further back on that. So that I just sewed the two back loops of the corner together. I'll do this a little bit on the front so you can see what's happening. So I've got this. So now I'm going to be getting this loop from the first double crochet over here. It's easier to do this from the back but I'm doing it for you so that you can see what it looks like from the front. Okay, so I'm going over here and the first double crochet over here, that's the loop right there, so I'm going to take the back loop there. So that together. Then I'm going to go to the next double crochet and get that one, the back loop of it, and the second one here, so they'll be matched up. Okay. And then you want to pull this snug. But see how it forms a nice little ridge right there? It's really pretty that way. So, this one over here. I'm going to go to the third double crochet now. I'm in the back loop there. Do you see that? And I'm going to go through there. And then I cat one, two, three. And I've got that right there. So they match up. 
stitch for stitch. You want to match it all the way up. And then I'm going into number four, right over here. I'm going to pull that snug so it's straight. And I'm going into number four over here. See, it's one, two, three, four. I'm in the fourth one, matching four to four. Now I'm going into the fifth one, the back loop right there. I'm going to match it to the fifth one over here. Okay. I'm just doing it on the front to show you, but it's easier to, these are the right sides right here. And it's easier to fold them together. And you can see you've got the ridges right here. So these ridges, I'm going to match with these ridges. And the inside ridges are the ones that are going to stay out on the front side. So you just, it's very easy. It's a lot easier from the wrong side. So you're going to go like this and like this, and like this, and like this, and like this, like this. Okay, now I want to pull this so it's straight, but you don't want to pull it too much or what could happen is this. I mean, I'm exaggerating this, but you want it so that it keeps its square shape like that. See, even though I sewed those two together, there's still a little bit of a dip there, so you won't totally get rid of that, but it'll be less prominent if you um, sew those two chains together. Okay, now I'm at the corner, and I've got the two chains to join, so I'm going to join that one. And at the corner, I'm going to go over these a couple of times to secure the corners. Okay, like that. And see how you have this beautiful little ridge there. It's very pretty. It looks very nice, I think, in their, your designs. It gives it a finished look. That's because you didn't sew those loops in there. But some ways of sewing together, they don't look too bad when you sew both loops together. I can show you that in another video. This one ended up actually more squared off than this one did. So, but we can't be perfect, but we can, we want to try. At least I like to try. Um, okay. So, I'm going to give that one more thing here. Then, I need to sew my ends in. So, I'm going to go in here, and then I go back a little bit, and then back out about an inch, and then I go like this. Sometimes I go over it a couple of times, and this is all on the wrong side. You don't want this shown on the front side. And then... I would snip that, I lay my scissors flat, and I cut like that so you don't cut into your work. And if you have to sew a bunch of squares together, like um, let's say these were squares for an afghan, what you want to do is sew all the squares together in strips, and then sew all the strips together. That's the easiest way to do it. So that's how to sew um, your pieces together. If you have any suggestions for other videos or if you have any comments, we'd love to hear from you. And all you have to do is email videos at maggiescrochet.com. And I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.